There will be cases where you've got a video and perhaps uh, multiple products are passed through the process represented in the video and you'd like to identify the different uh, products or models going through that particular area so that anyone looking at your video can see what applies to which model and so forth. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the time study drop down here and we're going to select this models option right here, models. And of course it comes up completely blank and uh, let's just imagine there was maybe three different types of cages that the guys in the background in our video here are actually going to be collapsing here. So different cages might require certain different handling and so forth. Right, just in a, as a made up case. So all we're going to do here is we're going to click on the edit models here and it brings up a listing. I'm just going to call it the KJ and we can assign a color to that. And the next one will be cage B. And assign a color to that. And then we get cage C. And save that and give another color to that. Okay, so we've identified our, identified our three different uh, models of cages that are going to be handled here. And we click on the done here. And that then becomes available to us. And this is a special little box here. There's a couple of nice features here. You can see, for instance, we're highlighting row one here. So I might say, well, this particular step applies to all, all models. So I can click on check all. It checks them. And then I hit the, the apply. And you can see what it does. It color codes them here each where each color represents individual model. Let's say the second step only applies to cage A and C. We can apply that. Maybe the next one applies to A and C. The third step just applies to A. And then we're back to them all again. And we can just go down here, identifying the different combinations of models that go through the different parts here. Right? And you can see what's happening is as I click each one, it's moving the line automatically down and putting the data in here. Now let's just say now that something changes. Now you've got another model. So what are we going to do? We're going to edit the models here. And we're going to add another one. Let's just call it cage D. And then we're going to save that. And we're going to assign a color to that. Now watch what happens when I, when I save this now. You see it automatically spaced it out so it can accommodate four models right here. I say I'm done. And now I can go back. I can check all of these and apply them. And now that will become available to us in there as well. Maybe that applies to a couple of steps. And then maybe one of these guys drops out. So you can see what we're doing here. We're giving you a color uh, guide as to which models applies to. If you want to know which models they apply to, you bring it up here. And it tells you KGA, KGB, KC. So this gives you a good way to focus on the different models that might be uh, uh, applying here. Now the other nice thing about this is when you say you're done here, of course when you go to the summary here, it's going to break it out by KJ, KJ, B, KC and show you the work content involved in each of them, how it's broken out here. Okay, So it can actually be quite an interesting little uh, way to look at your data if you want to identify the different uh, models that are going through a particular uh, step in your video.